So whether we're spilling the tea, spilling the beans, or basically spilling guts, we're here to make sure we mop it all up and serve it to you the best way possible. Welcome to Bar Room Therapy, BRT. I'm yours truly, Shala Thompson, your favorite bartender. Welcome back to Barroom Therapy. I am yours truly, Shola Thompson. In my bar today, a very special lady. I, I think she's probably the funniest lady on the radio, if not the funniest person, maybe top three, obviously. And uh, she has decided to stop by, you know, grab a couple of drinks, of course, and spill the tea as far as many things concerning her goes. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bar with me for Barroom Therapy, Tammy B. How you doing, okay. Tammy B? I'm good. I'm alive. Finally get to meet. Listen I'm to you on the radio. I was like, oh man, so nice. So, oh, so fun. So much fun. Thank you. And speaking of fun, um, would you like me to go ahead and hook you up with a drink? A very yes. nice drink. What drink do you think what would be you suitable? Have? Hey, you know what? I think I have a mix for you that works with your personality and pretty much how you, okay. how you like to throw it out. Okay. I'm, I like surprises. All right, cool. Surprises. This shouldn't be too surprising. Okay. All right. It's a, it's a nice mix. Already uh, put it together quite nicely. <laughs> I'm nervous about this right. drink all of a sudden. Oh no, it's nice. I feel like I should... Uh, I don't want to like get a girl's trip drunk. Nah, I'm you sure you can find it. Alright, you know, let me hook myself up with a drink Pets. as well. <clears throat> Shoes. Okay. Alright. Do we... Is, is, is this Raz? Do we... What, to cheers? Yeah. No, no, of course okay. not. Yeah, cheers to many more fun times. Awesome. Fantastic. Yay. No poison. No, I'm <laughs> no not. Uh, I have a, a multicolor sweater, and I don't go by uh, okay. Cosby. So uh, yeah, okay. Let's get to it. Let's let's get to uh, what people know uh, is you know the fact that Tammy B obviously is a uh, is not just a one trick pony. Okay. All right. You yeah. also, apart from radio, mm -hmm. you do uh, TV productions as well. Yeah. All right, do you want to go ahead and share with us other things you've been involved in behind the scenes, in front of, you know, so on? Um, things men say things for Vox say. TV. Um, Vox TV is like my online platform, and it's, it's something really special to me. I've wanted to do it since I was 12, and mm. it's, it's here. So I have Things Men Say. There is First Time Mom, there's Skinny Girl in Transit, there's What Happens in Lagos. It's quite a First time. What, did you say Skinny Girl in Transit? Yeah, Skinny Girl in Transit. Sorry, pause. How, what exactly did you do with Skinny Girl in Transit? Um, so I created Skinny Girl in Transit. Um, really? Yes. It was my child. And then I gave birth and put it up for adoption. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. how, exactly, how, how exactly did that happen? Okay, so um, it's been a long time. Like, All right. Um, I had a good friend at Ndani on NOS, and he'd come over to Cooler FM to uh, interview me for mm -hmm. something called Just Say It. They were doing it back then. I think it's come back now. Mm. And we just got talking, and I was like, oh, I have a couple of ideas I could work on Ndani. Let's talk about it. So, you know, I gave him two ideas first time mom and skinny girl in transit. And then he liked Skinny Girl in Transit, and that was it. We moved on working on it. So you worked at Skinny Girl in Transit. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you watch the show now, you realize it looks like it's a... It, it doesn't exactly say how, much, how involved you were. So well, yeah. how, did something happen? Did you, did you fall so, out? So the thing is, I love my country. I love Nigerians, but mm -hmm. I think that... <clears throat> We just don't like to pay attention because if you watch every single episode of Skinny Girl in Transit, yeah. it says created by Timilola Akimuda. So it's there. It's not a secret. It's just that people don't want to see it. I think that Nigerians like people who make noise, make a lot of noise. So you're obviously not a noise maker I'm not type a, of person. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. Okay. I'd rather just do my job and just keep it moving. You know, mm. I, 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 I like to say... I'm public, but I'm pretty private. You mm. know, I I don't necessarily celebrate all my achievements mm -hmm. outside. Like, I so, so how how involved how involved were you <clears throat> with the the show? So you said you created it, and it mm -hmm. says created by at the yeah. end. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this would be shocking for many people, as you said. Not not a lot of us like to pay attention. 
Yeah. So how involved were you with skidding around the transit? I mean, like, in the beginning, mm -hmm. developing the characters, getting the characters, naming them. Mm. We even did casting. I shot a pilot with me. So I was supposed to be Tiwa. I, you were supposed yes, to be Tiwa. So I, I, I ha we have, there's a whole pilot out there <laughs> yeah. somewhere <laughs> with me in it as uh, Tiwa. Uh, okay. Frank Dong actually directed that pilot. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, that's what it was supposed to be. But you know, sometimes life happens, things happen. I got pregnant. Um, and there was a lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of so, back and forth. And then, you know, we just moved on. So, so you're an easygoing person, obviously. Yeah, it, it, like it looks, it looks so. that way. And yes. uh, what I'm, the vibe I'm getting is, you know, you don't have a lot of um, beef with a lot of people. Well, I mean, I was really pain at a point. Obviously, I mean, yeah. I mean, you said you named you, was, you were supposed to play the character. Yes, I mean, it's something you had worked on mm -hmm. before you saw Skinny Girl in Transit. It was it was in development for a while. I mean, mm. it was there for a while. We'd been through different scriptwriters, mm. different things. We'd done a lot. We'd written the script back and forth, mm. and then it had come to this point where it was finally being made. We had done the pilot. The pilot was okay for full production. Yeah. And, you know, it was a lot. So I was upset at a point. And then you hear a lot of things that people have said and people are saying. And you're like, well, you were brought in way past the time the project started. How can you be claiming that this is yours? But then I think you move past it. I've learned that when the idea is yours, it never, mm -hmm. you never lack good ideas. They always keep on coming, you know. So I've moved past it. So the crew, the, the beginning <coughs> stages, when you were trying to put this together, uh -huh. do you, did they use the exact same crew? Uh, is it still no, the same crew that you had before? Everything is different. Everything, everything is different. Everything is different. We I had... mean, they didn't change the name you came up with. You said you no. were supposed to play Tiwa. Yes, that was, yes. All the names are the same. Tiwa, Shalewa, yeah. you know, the regular main characters. Okay. Um, a lot of new characters have been added on that were not there in the first season. But that, I mean, that's... That's TV. People develop, people add things. But mm. yeah, um, Shenwa Jai, who's the actor, yeah. uh, was the producer. He was the first producer assigned to Skinny Girl in Transit, actually. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, I blame him. He abandoned me. <laughs> oh. How do you mean? How do, how do you mean? Like, did he no, just... No, he just... He, he moved on to other things. I mean, yeah. I think most importantly, he really wanted to be an actor, and I'm so happy for him. He's doing so well. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, so, um, yeah. I feel like everybody's grown and more, more importantly, I'm really proud of what it has done mm -hmm. and how far it is. It has come. I, I'm really proud of that. And if it wasn't a good idea in the first place, it would never get to this point. You Greenlit know? and so, so on. Yeah. So do you feel uh, maybe there's, there's some things with the show that could have, if you were still at the helm of affairs, uh -huh. would have been different? If you were oh, still yeah, in charge, definitely. like, do you, do you care to share? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> like, like from the writer to, <laughs> really. to you know, the actors um, that might have featured. I mean, did you, did you cast, you cast those folks, right? No, I mean, we did had, did you have a, your preferences? We had that? a whole different set of people, guys. Like, really? <laughs> Taliwa was somebody else. My mom was somebody else. Everything was different um, from what the finished product was. But it's a, it's a pretty good finished product. I mean, I'm proud of everybody who's worked on it and, mm. you know. Do you, do you think you would have played it better, Tiwa? Before you answer that, the Tiwa, how, did you, how exactly did you come by that name? I think I heard you Oh, say okay, that. yeah. So I was obsessed with Tiwa Savage, like really? in my mind. Okay. She's like my best friend. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh yeah, this is, yeah, I'm going to name her Tiwa because of that. Yeah. So, so Tiwa Savage, you're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and obviously, you know, being a radio personality uh -huh. as well, you guys have obviously met. And yes, we have. But, for you. but it wasn't because of that. I just, she was like, she, I just liked her at that point. So, do you think you could have played a better Tiwa? No, I'd have played a different Tiwa. Not necessarily a better Tiwa. Or do I feel you had time to rehearse that? <laughs> I didn't. I, I think I would have played a different one. I wouldn't have played really? this one. So it doesn't mean it might have been worse. Yeah. You know, this one is pretty good. So do you have any complaints about uh, some things they're doing? Because you said already it's a well put together show. Mm -hmm. But trust me, if I created a show and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, maybe halfway through, all of a sudden I was no longer with the show. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would realize or notice some things that are mm -hmm. different. So... What do you feel honestly could have been different? If you're very honest, even with the cast, even with the, you know, what do you think could have been done different? 
I, I mean, the whole point of creating Skinny Girl in Transit was to talk about being plus size in mm -hmm. Lagos, like being a curvy girl in yeah. Lagos, you know, yeah. how you navigate the dating scene and just basically living your life. Yeah. So, I mean, it has really evolved from that. Wow. So I would have liked that to always be there mm. because I, that, that was the real reason why I wanted to do this show. I wanted to show how, you know, being curvy and being plus size is like, it's not like a disease. You're not, not going to get married because mm. you're a certain way. Mm. And if you'd watched, um, Skinny Girl in Transit, the pilot, yeah. it had my mom come to my room. Like mm. at, that's what my mom used to do at the time. Really? Like 2 AM she'd come and say, you are useless. You are never going to get wedded. Look at yourself. You are going to die in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I just really wanted to always emphasize that, you know, to every curvy girl, every skinny girl in transit, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You know, like every curvy girl, <laughs> whether they like to admit it or not, they, yeah. they, they're always a skinny girl in transit because they always want to get to that point where I'm finally skinny. You know, mm. and all my problems are solved. But then all your problems don't get solved because you are skinnier or you're slimmer. So wow. yeah, I would like to. See so so as as uh, awesome as as this show is, and with everything going on, mm -hmm. um, I have to say there, there are quite a number. There are a lot more questions I'd like to ask, of mm -hmm. course, if you don't mind. And we'll yeah. uh, we'll get back to that maybe right <laughs> after this break. Okay. All right. Yes. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back with more for your barroom therapy. Welcome back to Bar Room Therapy. Um, yours truly, Shala Thompson. Tammy B with me, enjoying a good drink. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. we don't have to cheers again. We've, no, we've done that already. That will be too much. It will be too much. Yes. A little too much we'll cheers. look like a, some bush people. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so I have to say one thing um, that, that anybody watching or anybody that knows you will be able to get is the vibe that you're just, you're a very nice person mm -hmm. and you'll be fun to hang around with. Hopefully, you know? fingers crossed. But obviously this comes with a price. Mm -hmm. Something that you have definitely tried to fix. I'm sure along the way with uh, the challenges and life, mm -hmm. you realize everybody would take it for granted. Mm -hmm. So do you feel, uh, speaking, still speaking about a uh, skinny girl in transit, do you feel you were robbed? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. I would have to think about that. Maybe go see a shrink. Maybe go see out. a shrink and... Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I can't say. The mm. thing, the thing about life is you never know, you mm -hmm. know, you never know. I could have been, see what I could have been doing and it would be really mm. crap, you know, then what would I say? So yeah. maybe this was for the best. You also realize sometimes you have to, you know, go and check out your contract situation. So yes. the contractual obligations yes. that you had as far as the show was concerned, mm -hmm. did, yeah. did, was there any opportunity for you to go ahead and chase this and request for some kind of penance or um yes we have a contract we, we i did not get paid i mean i did mm, you got let me let me get this straight so you got paid <laughs> off is that what you're saying yeah. to say hey all right so this is the deal and how did that happen okay so you got paid off to yeah. say all right we're taking the show it's ours now mm -hmm. How did that conversation happen? Was there something you did? Did you think anything that happened might have been your fault? You already I, said I you got pregnant. Never by know. Is, is, was that one of the problems? Was I, I would issues? never know. Really? I mean, it didn't help being pregnant. I don't think it, it didn't help. helps. <laughs> I don't think it helps being pregnant. Um, I wasn't acting a pregnant person. However, um, I had already shot the pilot before I was pregnant. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you're pregnant and you're like showing immediately. Yeah. So there was, there was time to shoot, but it just, just didn't work out. I, I don't know. It just didn't work out. I wouldn't be able to tell you this is what I did, mm. you know? Maybe I did something. Maybe I'm really a nice person. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. So I, don't, I can't tell you. As I said, mm -hmm. a very fun person. And we do know sometimes most people use the jokes and the comedy to try to hide yeah. Yeah. as a defense they, mechanism. They do, do that. They do do it. Yes, they do do it. So you're basically <laughs> saying that's not really what you do? I, I do. I do that. So I, what I, what, I, what I, I want to know is, mm -hmm. what I really would like to know mm -hmm. is as far as the stories that, have, uh, that you've gotten from the show, mm -hmm. that you've seen on the show, do you feel uh, sometimes you just smirk and say... If only they knew what the what I was going to give them as far mm -hmm. as how 
deep the character is, the tr- the, the mm-hmm. issues, and so on. You know, it looks like they missed out on actually making this much intense, much more intense and interesting. Probably, but hey. Like, do you want to share an example, thing, maybe? You no, know, I really don't. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I've yeah. said, it's turned out good. Mm. Do you, you, that's the thing. Mm. Like, there's no need to keep so on saying, I could have done this. Oh, look at their hair. But are people in love with what is happening right now? Right. Yeah, so why are you trying to rock the boat? There's no point. That's what I, that's what I it's, think. It's awesome that you, know, you have such a fantastic outlook on life. And me <laughs> saying this, somebody, some people watching will be like, why are you just trying to be negative? <laughs> she said she's done, she's good. But you know, I just feel it is barroom therapy. Yeah. So we're trying to get you to just make to, sure to be that like, you're sure that you're, you know, over these yes, situations. Yes, I am. If you, if you, yeah. if we had this interview years ago. Yeah. No. Oh, we would have gotten like some spicy <laughs> stuff. You know, like, hey, she got this, oh my god. <laughs> oh, my family. Yeah. But no, I'm just But like... now you're more, you know, you're more, you're more mature. So what do you think helped you with um, finding the, the peace? Do you think you found closure as far as the situation? And um, also what helped you with uh, just being okay with the situation? Um, having conversations, I think, helped okay. me a lot. I mean, there were lots of people involved mm. in this production. Okay. You know, I had a conversation with one of them and just basically straightened things out. I didn't know this was happening. This is what happened. And yeah, I, I, that how long, helped. How long did it take before you had that conversation? A long time. A After whole, the whole episode. A long, a whole long while. time. Yeah, for this person to have this conversation with me. Really? Yeah. So was the person holding back or you just didn't want to have the conversation at the time? Know. Just I was like sitting happened. in my own safe. And then it called. Her. Hello, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, it was that. That was it. Yeah. All right. It's fantastic. So um, we do we do have, you know, other things that we <laughs> definitely get to please, talk about. Please, please. Because, I mean, as I said, you're not a... Exactly. One, one I tree, do do more than one, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you are, you know, also a very, very great personality on the radio. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's awesome to see. But what we'll do is right after this break. You know, we'll uh, go ahead and jump into Please. that because it looks like Please. you know. Because it's like it's like you're. Look, hey, I'm, good, I'm fine. I'm with it. We it's bar about therapy, that. you know. So you know how this works. You're okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll be back after this break. Stay with us. And you're welcome back to Barroom Therapy. Tammy B in the bar with me, doing her thing. Yes. Showing off exactly how uh, amazing she is, and of course, we're thinking: Will she write a book for people who are? Who are trying to find a way to move on, get some closure. Not really, no. Because. <laughs> from boys, yeah. From what she said. <laughs> I've learned so much. I'm thinking, I need to forgive more people. I need to move on and not be bitter. <laughs> it's really not that. You know? Me. So it's awesome. It's awesome. And I'm sure uh, being able to do this, obviously, has been able to allow you also pursue other projects. Mm-hmm. And definitely from the fact that you created such a cool show. You have other shows that people will be looking forward to to uh-huh. think, oh, all right, let's get let's, let's get let's get this. What's this one called? What's the new show called? It's called First Time Mom. So yes, it's a it's a comedy. Really? Also drama. <laughs> mm. uh, and it's based off of my life as a young mom, basically. And my blog. So I had a blog. I have a blog mm. called What's First called? Time Mom. First time mom. Yeah. FTMbaby.com. Yeah. And, and you're a mother of two, two. humans. Two humans. Yes. Okay. I know. Are you sure? That, <laughs> when did you decide that they were humans? Was it like, you know, maybe I'm still after thinking. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> because of all the trouble. I'm not I sure. Can't yes. Um, yeah. So, so that's first it. time, first time. Mom. Mom. Mm-hmm. That, that should be an awesome show. So, are you going to restrict it to just the trials and tribulations of being a mother, or are there going to be other no. backstories no, no, that you know people could jump into? It's a, so basically, it's about my journey. As a mom and as a wife. So I, I got married mm. really young. Like I was a child bride, honestly. Really? Yeah. At what age? Um, I'm trying to remember. Trying One to second. remember. <laughs> <laughs> this was 2012. Right. Um, it's 2019 and I'm 30 now. So how old was I? Sorry, I was sipping. <laughs> I, I'm bad at math. I'm good at math. I'm fantastic at math. F9. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Great, I think I 22, 23? Yeah, let's just, let's just go with yeah. 22. Oh, fantastic. Right. 22. I would have figured it out, so but you know, 22. sipping. <laughs> it took too long. You know. Yeah, so 22. Yeah. So then I got married. Mm. Um, and it's a lot. It was a lot of getting used to it. And I got pregnant, like, right after. Yeah. So then I was a mom and a wife. And I was like, what the hell is this? 
and it was a lot navigating <laughs> through it. Wow. Yeah, getting a new family and yeah. It, it, does this show actually capture the real issues? Because most of the things we see as far as Nollywood and mm -hmm. other interesting productions, they hardly ever capture what it is like for a mom with kids and having to deal with that and still stay sexy and also think about her career goals mm -hmm. and not feel like, hey, guess what? I'm married, I have kids, my life is gone. So, do so you, does it capture? In a way, it does, this? but it's about it's called first time mom. Okay. So I think a lot of people focus on children. Oh, but what does your life become as a result of one this one person? Yeah, that's what the show is about. Hmm. How does this one person change every single thing in your universe? So it's not really about the baby. Yeah, it's about the emotional, physical change you have to go through as a mom and as a wife. Mm. It's a case of losing yourself so that you can love just one person better. Because as a mom and as a wife, you come in as person A and you strip everything. You change your name. Sometimes you lose your friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you lose your family and you get this new family, this new name. You have to just love as much as you love people you've known your whole life. Mm. It's a lot, you know, to take in mentally and physically, emotionally. And that's what the the this show is about you know that journey and how that journey is different for for different people so yeah. timmy has a friend tracy who yeah. doesn't have that difficulty she's okay. doesn't have to lose any weight she's super rich she's perfect so there's, there's always those kind of people there's the people they're like oh you had labor pain <laughs> I just came I out, you know, <laughs> exactly. I coughed, I sneezed, and and you it. hate them. And then yeah. there's the people who go through, and there's the single people, single people dynamic. It's a lot. There's a lot of stories being told. And I think it's I mean, it'll, it'll be something story. to definitely look forward yeah, to. And, so. um, you know, I'm sure for some women who might be able to relate, they might mm -hmm. be like, oh, I'm men. Timmy say, Timmy say, oh, men. I'm men. Beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put, yeah, men. Because there's a whole men. story for the guys. And men. Yeah. I'm sure there are some episodes that would There's um, there's a whole episode just for the for the dad. For, for first time for dad, you know. Yeah. You know, trying sometimes some guys and do there are no credit here. Like you would show what the guy does when he is Yeah, he runs his away once he hears the baby the crying. Baby's crying. He runs you're, away. You're having to, he runs and then the away. arguments as well, the nasty Yes, arguments. the arguments. I mean, as a husband you marry this fantastic girl. Yeah. And she comes a mom and then she changes as well. You have to deal with that, mm. you know. Sometimes you, things you are getting before, like, uh, you know, yeah. you're not getting them again. Because wow. she's like, I'm not going to put my mouth there. Ew. No, it's like People drink from this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's that. Oh. So, and then it's like, but I like this thing. And you said you were going to do it. And now it's gone. Yeah. You know, so guys it's also go to their uh, own little bit. Exposing it. Yeah, there's wow. a lot. There's, you know, yeah. sex after baby. Like, yeah. what happens? Is it working down there? Is it the same? Or is it third that bridge? Mm. You know? These are the important questions. Yeah, but, it's uh, all there. Yeah, that's very it's important questions. And yeah, what it's, I have to say, it's, it's not Third Mainland Bridge. It, of course, it's not. It's, you know, you know uh, it's, it's like it's, a uh, yeah. Lagos Island Road. I mean, it's elastic. Still a bit tight, but you know. You Did I just say it's elastic? Well, yeah. <laughs> There's that. So you, um, this everybody's looking forward to this. So, yeah. as far as your cast mm -hmm. and crew. <laughs> my cast and crew. Cast and crew. Um, <laughs> who do you have? Uh, who, who do I have? Who do you have co who's going to be in the show? Okay, so there's Echo Edewa is in the show. Yeah. And guess who she plays? <laughs> there's Oshua Tunde Moyo. She's new. Okay. Uh, and she's a really great actress, actually. Yeah. Um, Bolly Lomo is in it. Nice. Tajay Prest is in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Lola Wan is in it. Oh, really? Uh, they do it in there somewhere. <laughs> of course, you know, you have to bring the family. Yes. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else is in it? Um, mm. Oscar is in it. A guy called Oscar is a fantastic actor. He's never acted a day in his life. Really? But I think that character is just him. And he did it perfectly. And um, we have great writers in it. Jola Yeye is in it. Okay. Falake, who produces this show, wrote, Really? Yeah, she wrote, she's in it too? She wrote a funny episode about oh, people nah, getting she's, drunk. She's fun when she <laughs> drinks. And it was exactly, and it's about drinking. Mm -hmm. You know, she likes drinking so much, she wrote an episode about drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's wow. there. Um, yes, um, yeah, it was one of the funny episodes as well. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, it's as well. Well, of course, you know, as no, the main no, character. No, I'm not the main character. Really, you're not the main character. No. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. I mean, this was awesome. You got to spill the tea. 
There's no tea, no tea. But then most importantly, you actually got, if you're, if you're, if you're watching and you're, you're, you're the kind of person who likes to take the message, one thing you know for sure is it's good to, you know, move on and, you know, get a little closure, move on and live the best of your life. All right, so good job. Cheers to, Anna, cheers, yeah, maybe, not too cheesy, maybe? No, no, it's fine. All right, fine, we cheers started, to, we end. Cheers, cheers to, to moving on. Really? I'm seeing the best in life. Let me, let me do another one. All right, let's try Cheers to yeah. making that money. Cheers to making money. Not getting pregnant. Yes. Not getting pregnant? Yes, not getting okay, pregnant. Okay, fine. Yes, that's another. That's, that's yeah. what we're done with that. Sure. We're, like, it's right. too expensive. School fees is the biggest contraceptive. See, that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just life. Awesome. Cheers. And to life. Cheers. <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that will wrap it up for BRT, Bar and Therapy. Thank you very much for stopping by. You're you're just a whole... Oh my God, sorry. You're amazing fun. Oh. All right, and we'll be back again again, same time next week for another beautiful episode. Thank you for watching.